Hello, and welcome to our new series, episode one of our series that we are currently calling Stranded Soldiers, where we are playing as two stranded soldiers who fell from some type of starship, Doc and Nero. <clears throat> Today, which uh, if you didn't watch the <laughs> episode before this, episode zero, mod overview and everything like that, uh, I kind of planned all this out, a uh, quick starter base for what we kind of plan on doing and whatnot, so that is what we will be currently working on. Of course, with any beginning to a RimWorld uh, series and or colony, I always want to cut down some trees and start building out of that, because of course it is going to be the most abundant resource in a boreal forest, temperate forest, swamp, places like that. So that's what we'll be doing today. We are going to go ahead and try to get a, I suppose, maybe our storage here. And then we'll probably just work on a little kitchen. We'll probably sleep in there tonight as well, if need be. <clears throat> need to check, though. Um, we're not going to set up manual priorities just yet. I'm just going to work with what we have here. When there's only like a colonist or two, it's not too bad to do it this way. Or at least I feel that way. I normally don't have too many issues out of it. Um, we want to get our storage, though, and I'm going to try and get all of our junk hauled in as soon as possible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put down the orders for the storage and for the kitchen. So we're going to do that, and I guess I'll put the door for the kitchen here. I'm going to put one in here for the storage and then one down here for the storage. <clears throat> we do also have their bedrooms here, so I'll actually go ahead and build doors here as well. We might as well do that. And we'll see how they do. Nero is, I, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing this, Nero? <laughs> Nero? I don't know how you say it. Nero, I'm pretty sure. I like the name. She's meditating. They do have their own little ideology. Like I said, though, I don't think, uh, I said this in the episode zero, we're not going to be focusing too heavily on that. Um, not in the beginning, at least. Depending on how the series goes, we will, of course, but not in the beginning. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too, too much in the beginning. Go ahead and put them down some sleeping spots. <clears throat> and that way they can sleep under their sort of uh, built kitchen. <laughs> the uh, non-existent roof as of yet. And I suppose, because we don't have a lot of these survival meals, I don't think. Even on the map, yeah, we only have 13. So, that'll do us for a little while, but we should look into other things like hunting. I wouldn't mind doing some hunting so that we could get some leather in case we need it for clothing and or sleeping bags. Um, oh, the first night on this desolate rim world after they crashed and hit the ground as hard as they could trying to survive. Their attempts at survival will hopefully prove to be quite fruitful. We do need to also probably take some stuff like the sandstone table. This would be very useful. So if we get this, we can put it here, and I don't see any chairs in any of these runes, unfortunately. Uh, I could be overlooking some, but I don't see any currently. We could just build our own. It's not a big deal, of course, but we do have a um, ancient danger up here, it looks like. We need to try to get our survival meals uh, pulled down here, though, and get them uh, or get them hauled down here and put them in like a little stockpile. So we are going to go ahead. We got the storage built. Good job, Doc. We'll go ahead and put our storage here. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep food and everything in there for now. We don't want to do anything rotten, though, preferably. That's not bad. They got this done quite quickly, to be honest. I wasn't expecting them to actually get the kitchen and everything built that quickly, so... Let's go ahead and I want to put a haul urgently order on these packaged survival meals. We actually have 15 across the map. I could actually select similar things. Yeah, so that's all of them. We've already got them selected. We want to get those hauled urgently and get them put in here immediately. Otherwise, they are going to end up getting eaten by animals. We want to do the same with our medicine so it doesn't go bad. And that's pretty much it for now. Now, we're going to have to try to work on bedrooms of course we want to work on defenses soon though we'll probably be getting our first raid fairly quickly so we want to try to work on something we don't have to build the entire wall just yet of course i want to do that out of steel or some type of block whatever we have available preferably granite i believe it is the strongest 
in terms of hit points. Um, but, uh, you know, we want to get something so we don't die, preferably. Preferably. So go ahead and put down the orders for the bedrooms here as well. We should also look into doing some... We should have components, actually. I just, I just thought about that. Here they are. Is this all of them? Yeah, 30. We want to get those hauled in, because they will also deteriorate out here, and they already are. We don't want to lose those. We do need to look into doing some power. Um, a wood-fired generator would do just fine, I'm pretty sure. So, after we get the bedrooms built, we will do that, and I suppose this will be our freezer. We should probably do a bigger freezer, shouldn't we? I would think so. Um, this is what I had planned for the freezer, and we could always dig into this, but if this is going to be a structural piece to our defenses, kind of the walls, this is kind of like the chunk that we're building our walls off of, we probably don't want to dig into it too much because it will end up getting destroyed at some point. We do have a chem fuel pond. Um, this is good for power. It's part of the, oh, I forget which mod. I think it's the Vanilla Power Expanded, if I'm not mistaken. We do have two other things of that. <clears throat> and we do have geothermal right here. So, though this is useful for many things, such as gas, um, I might just fill it in, to be honest. Should I do that? It won't be usable anymore. No, I shouldn't do that. What a what a dumb idea. There's so many other things I could do, like just build the freezer up this way. Why wouldn't I just do that instead? What a, what a dumb thing of me to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure, and I can build pretty close to it. Actually, I can build right on top of it. I don't want to destroy it, though. Yeah, we'll do that for the freezer. Um, we could do... Try to think of how to do this. We might do like a corridor style so we don't let all the air out. Um, let's go ahead and do... We have the AC units. Uh, this is just a normal AC unit. It's like a double. We don't have the... <clears throat> what's it called? Where's it at? Basic climate control just yet. So we'll do the normal freezer and stuff. I want to do that just so that we can try and start stockpiling some food uh, in case because we're going to run out of this first. And I, I'm the world's worst every time. Whenever I start a new colony, it always happens. I forget about doing food and I end up screwed over, you know, later because nobody's <laughs> nobody has food. Everyone's starving. So preferably that doesn't happen this time. We do have a semi-functional base, looks like. Um, we could go ahead actually I think we're at the point where we could do some beds. So let's go ahead and... We do have the extended furniture, so simple bed. Um, I think the comfort... It's about the same, ain't it? Uh, surgery. So this is 98, 103, rest 97. So what's the normal? Probably the same. No, actually the normal is slightly better. So what's the difference? 45... 40. So it's just slightly. I like the ex uh, extended furniture, but I'm going to do a normal bed since it is slightly better for just slightly more wood. I don't think it's too big of a deal. Um, we do have a large surplus here of wood and trees. Um, we're not doing poorly for that for sure. So I think we may just go ahead in terms of power, and I think we will actually do a wood-fired generator. I don't think that's a bad idea. Um, we could probably do it right here. That probably wouldn't cause any issues. And we'll do an underground power conduit directly in here. <clears throat> so that should get us started. We should have a good bit of wood to get us started on that. We'll try and start a stockpile for it. Let's go ahead and remove... Where is... Remove plans. We don't need that there. So we're going to try to keep this down to... I go by Fahrenheit. I'm a filthy imperial system guy. Keep it down to about 28. I'm going to go ahead and build a stockpile and make this nothing but food and animal corpses. Then we want to remove food from this stockpile. Obviously. Look at them go in the dark building this. They're very industrious. They're very, I mean, they are soldiers, you know, so you, uh, futuristic soldiers, no less. So you would expect them to know what they're doing in terms of stuff like this, right? So they, they threw this base together quite quickly. It's basically a little home. And um, 
you know, next to pieces of their fallen starship that's just fallen out of the sky. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Starship chunks everywhere where everything just crashed and they horrifically hit the ground here on this odd planet that they were orbiting. It's quite interesting, really. Truly, it is. <laughs> we should also look into doing... I don't think we have a research spot. Yeah, we'll have to use a normal research table. It's fine. Probably want to go ahead and do some stools. Do I want dining chairs? They're expensive, but we, we have the wood. We have the wood. We might as well. So we'll go ahead and build those when we have time. Hey, can I get you to refuel that? Actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah, don't worry about it, actually, because we don't have anything in there. So we have seven meals left. So what we're going to do is go ahead and start hunting some animals. Hunt these rams, a turkey. You want to hunt something fairly large that's actually worth hunting, which most of it will attack us, it looks like, or there's the possibility. So we'll hunt some stuff like foxes, turkeys, stuff like that. It's also berries we can eat, so we can harvest those whenever we have time. And in terms of cooking... So Nero, yeah, Nero's actually hunting. Let's go watch. Let's go see. They both have these awesome charge rifles, and they should do just fine with hunting. Yeah, they done good. Good job, Nero. Murder it. Murder it, Nero. Ah, what a beautiful shot. Good job, Nero. We will enjoy him in our tummies, or her, whatever it was. We could also harvest some of this heel root. I don't know if either of them have a good growing skill, do they? Plants, no. Plants, uh, the plant skill for both of them is extremely low. So, um, we could always, we probably just want to try and harvest as much of this heel root as we can. Try to get that hauled in. Doc is, oh, going for a walk. They also will need some type of recreational variety. Um, we could put a chess table in here. I'm just trying to think before we place things because I'm going to need to put a butchering spot oh, ancient danger a butchering spot and um a uh oh god <laughs> a stove a stove for god's sakes what I'm looking for the word um we'll put a chest table here for now I'm also going to go ahead and mine that when we have time we'll put a um, chair there a chair there and then we'll put our cooking table and stuff up here um, let's go ahead and get this refueled, since these corpses are just going to start rotting otherwise. And how's it doing? Oh yeah, it's freezing. Frozen! Won't spoil. Perfect. Because that is what we wanted. So we should go ahead, though, and start working on a... I guess we could do an electric stove. I kind of prefer a fueled stove. I wish there was an option to have one that you could just do both with. That way, in case the power goes out. But it's not a big deal. We won't worry about that. Uh, we can also do a butchering spot, which I think would probably... I hate to keep it too close to the actual stove. So we'll do it there. We also need a dumping stockpile for these chunks for the moment. I think we will put them up here. We don't want any corpses up here. Uh, yeah, just chunks. We won't do any rotten, even though chunks can't be rotted. Oh no, you failed! That's quite alright. Yeah, I was going to say, can you build the stove? Preferably the stove. That will be more useful. So we do have some animals. Ah, our first event, a mad squirrel. Come here, squirrel! Uh, where is it? Is it already here? I don't see it. I'm looking for it. <laughs> I don't see it quite yet. Uh, oh, there it is. I do see it now. Ah, you there. There we go. I think we have, yeah, we got run and gun on. Ah, run, Nero. Run, for the love of God. Shoot. <laughs> it's always the small animals that cause these issues, isn't it? They're just so hard to kill. Get a haul urgently on that. Get him hauled in. We'll eat him. I don't think we have anything out here. We didn't really drop with much. Just food and components that can really deteriorate. And a tiny bit of medicine. Everything else isn't, you know, not much. Aha! Another bountiful harvest. Nero has a very good shot, no doubt due to that gun link, of course. Or she is a very good shot, I should say, with her charge rifle. Look at this beautiful little colony, though, that we're building. It's wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and do some wall lights. Um, 
I want one right there. Seems like we probably have one right there. <laughs> I don't know, though. Do one in our storage, one in everyone's room. We'll do one in the freezer as well so we can see. It's going to take some time, but we'll get those built. Um, we do have the stove built, thank God. Um, let's go ahead and do some simple meals. We'll do it until we have... Oh, uh, we'll unpause it. Uh, two? Yeah, we'll cook ten and unpause it two currently. That way, you know, we have a good bit stockpiled. So, yeah, Nero is also our cook. So she should be doing cooking before that. Before hunting, I mean. So that should be fine. And we are getting these built, thankfully. Thank you, Doc, for building those. We'll also need to do some flooring. Now, I always use this wood flooring, so I want to try to stray away from that in this series because I always use it every time I play, and I love it. I do, believe me. <laughs> I enjoy how it looks, but I should probably stop, especially if you've watched any of the previous series that I've done. That's constantly the... I always go for this one, wooden rustic planks, because it's beautiful. But for this colony, of course, these are some spaceman marines that fell out of the sky. Spaceman, space woman. Um... I'm not exactly wanting to do the exact same thing, right? I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, be using the same stuff every single time. So I think what we're gonna do. This is sandstone. I think we're gonna try to remove this flooring, and we'll probably go ahead and deconstruct. We'll actually deconstruct this. Yeah. Deconstruct all this. I'm going to try to incorporate this little section into our wall. So we'll try to plan around that instead of... So like if we do that, that should be fine. And we'll remove the plants here. And we could do something like this in terms of the rest of the wall. It's kind of squarish, but that's alright. I still like it. Oh yeah, chest table. Woo! Oh yeah, exciting. <laughs> I think the extended furniture, yeah, it has uh, it has some chairs. So we have like a square chair. It's pretty interesting. I think it's about the same as a dining chair. Yeah. We'll, we'll do some stools here. And we also want to go ahead and turn on an order for butchering these creatures. Oop, do forever. So Nero should, yep, Nero is going to get right on that. Our first animals of this planet that we're eating. Mmm. Mmm, look at that, a nice simple contain or er, <laughs> simple meat meal. That would be kind of not well, not really nourishing, would it? Could you imagine it just eating nothing but meat? I mean for survival, obviously, but gotta have a little gotta have a little grain or something in your meal, right? Gotta have a little something. The food py <laughs> food pyramid, I mean my god. So we got limestone blocks and sandstone blocks. Which one do we have more of? Sandstone currently. Um, we got marble, steel, this is all granite. Uh, try to think of what we want to use. Oh, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Neil, think, or Nero, <laughs> I think you should give your faction a name. Um, I like Planetary Union, to be honest. It makes sense, because it's kind of similar to what you would think that, like, they were under. So, Planetary Union, um, that's fine. I like that. Um, we should give this settlement a name. Um, what should we do it? Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, Nero's, since it's Nero thinking of the name, it would make sense that she would probably want to name it after herself. Nero's Lake, possibly, because we do have a large, large lake and there's some marshes here. Uh, Nero's Lake, I, I like that. Yeah, we'll name it Nero's Lake, so this this forest. And she is one of the founding members, so, you know, it makes sense that we would have it named after her. Doc, I think, is just kind of like, yeah, whatever, Nero. I don't care. We want to get off this planet. We want to survive. So I'm not I'm not worried about what we're wanting to name it. And then Nero's kind of like, okay, well, there's a there's a massive lake up here. And, you know, I like my name pretty good, so I think that's, um, <laughs> I think that's how it would go down. Uh, oh, we have all kinds of yaks. Look at that. That would be some good protein for us. Try to get on that. Um, got a good bit of leather there. And we got all this wood. I'm so tempted to just do wood flooring. I forgot what I was doing. I was trying to find some... Trying to find some stuff to turn into flooring. Um, these urns would be useful. 
we could deconstruct those. It's not a big deal. We have plenty of urns around here. Um, like this one. This one's steel, which is fine. Let's grab one, and we'll put it in here, and it'll kind of help beautify this place. And there's another one. I don't want to grab too many of these. If it increases our wealth, I know it's going to also increase the raid, if I'm not mistaken. So, mm, I put another one in there. They'll be happy about the uh, dining room, though, having those urns in here. So, shouldn't be too bad. Now, we are going to also have to try to keep a focus on cleaning, because if this place gets a little too dirty, then everyone's going to start having food poisoning, of course, so we got to watch that. It's another reason I want a floor in here. That would help out quite a bit. I suppose we could do a floor out of steel. Um, it would be very expensive, though, so I kind of prefer not to. If we do steel, that's seven steel. That would still be... Yeah, it'd be about 300 uh, altogether when you do the doorway, so it's still extremely expensive. So preferably we do it out of marble. Marble and limestone, possibly. They look about the same, so might be able to do that. We won't even be able to tell. I don't know. Uh, we do have all these tables and stuff that are marble as well. So that'll probably be enough. This is also limestone. So all this together should be a good bit to, to actually go on and do the flooring with. Should be plenty that we can use. This, I believe, is also, yeah, limestone. So so we should have plenty, and this is also marble. <laughs> I've just breathed into the mic. I'm so sorry. We have all kinds. We can just use that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'll let them do that. We'll check in on Nero murdering some animals. Poor yak, man. Poor yak. Come on, Nero. Finish it off. How you doing? Oh, you are down. God bless your little heart. Carry it, Neil. Could you imagine just somebody just packing an entire yak on their back after hunting it? Oh my god. What a massively strong woman. Well, we got plenty of meat now as well. That's a lot of yak beef. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So as long as we keep the power going, which something... I, you know what? We should probably stop hunting for a while. You know, we got turkeys. I want to hunt those turkeys, but... Aha! Our first raid! A group of pirates. Well, I'm shocked it wasn't the uh, insectoids. So it's just the one person. Makes sense. What do you have there, friend? Oh, you got a steel club. Are you attacking immediately? Okay. So we're going to get Nero and Doc. We're going to get them both down here to the home base. Um, Nero is up there. Where's Doc? He's pretty far, ain't he? Uh-oh. That person's probably going to get here before Doc does. It's fine. Yeah, definitely going to get here before Doc does. Doc is on his way, though. So it shouldn't be too bad. We could do run and gun. Not a big deal. Let's see if we can go ahead and start shooting. So if we start shooting... There we go! Oh, yeah! Look at that! Come on, cat! Bring it on! Come on, Doc. So we can get you both here. Should be able to... There we go. Let's see if you have anything useful in terms of traits. Ooh, you are quite the planter. Tortured artist. So you have a permanent mood uh, debuff. Or, yeah, debuff. Psychopath. So this one's not too bad. We're not really worried about that. It might honestly be more helpful than anything. Uh, let's check out your ideology. This something... Ah, rating is required. Um... I mean, we could technically capture you and attempt to... Go ahead and convert you. Uh, yeah, Doc has a really good social. So, what we could do... Um, we'll have to capture you. Let's go ahead and focus on capturing you real quick. We're going to put you in here in our storage. I'm um, going to let Nero capture you. And then Doc, what I want you to do, my friend, is build a very small little area here. Uh, that's probably okay. We'll do that, and build a door, and we're going to keep her in there. We're going to try to keep her in there and convert her. We're going to try and make it as shitty as possible, so she has, like, the, um, was it Crisis of Belief, I think? Yeah. All right, Doc. I actually need you to work on this. Nero, I want you to, um, can you not, can nobody do tending? Oh, you can't do doctoring. I'm sorry. So, Doc here, which makes sense. <laughs> Doc. The name kind of implies he could probably do some tending. So, Cat here is going to be very useful for um, growing. I would also like to keep 
her because she has a decent bit of shooting and a, a you know a slight passion for it. But uh, also her favorite color is green. That's very important to me. <laughs> but uh, we could um, we could keep her for growing and obviously some fighting. But uh, I really want somebody who can do cleaning. It wouldn't hurt to have somebody who can do that all the time and just some dumb labor like hauling and stuff. I'm pretty sure she can do hauling, right? Yeah, she's not incapable of anything, so it's good to have somebody that can just do something for us. It's not a big deal. So I want to go ahead and put her in here real quick. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to deconstruct this. I want you to capture her. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And we are going to go ahead and work on converting you. It's going to take some time, but we will get it done. Um... Let's see, we want to make sure, what was I doing? Wardening. I'll take Doc off Hall Plus. We want to make sure he's doing wardening before anything else. We want to make sure we don't starve her to death. Starving her a little bit wouldn't hurt, but not to death, preferably, right? So we don't want to kill her. Um, we need to look into doing batteries. I'm going to go ahead and start mining out our um, storage as well. We need to look into doing a workshop. As to where, I'm not exactly sure. I guess we could deconstruct this. We could honestly do it here onto this that's already here. We could build it kind of into our wall. I think that wouldn't be bad. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we won't actually build the wood, like the wall out of wood, but um, we could do that, right? <laughs> I don't know. Let's do that. That's fine. We'll keep that as our workshop currently. I'm going to put some doors on it so we can come and go as we please. All right, though, guys. I think we've really come to, you know, a good a good end to the episode. I think we've done really well. So we have a good-looking little uh, beginning um, area here for the colony. I was going to say beginning colony. Uh, just need to get our walls in and some more defenses. But honestly, we're doing, we're doing quite well. Um, except for this. We don't have any power. My God. Ah, we don't have any wood. Makes sense. Um, take you guys off constructing for a little while. Let's set these priorities up after a while. Just right now, I'm going to leave them as manual priorities. Um, but yeah, we got Cat here, our first raider, who is going to be a good friend of ours after we forcibly convert her and stuff food down her throat in this little cave we built for her. <laughs> so hopefully she has a... Um, hopefully she has like a break and she just completely loses her certainty and her own ideology. Um, but yeah, we're going to get this mined away, make the storage room a little bigger, get the production room here, the workshop done. Start on research. What we need is batteries. That's what I want to want to try to push for. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are absolutely wonderful. I really appreciate you. If you're new here, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Well, everybody like and subscribe or whatever. I don't know. That's what people say, right? <laughs> There's other videos, so I'm just saying it too. Oh, God, we have Cat going berserk. We will deal with that in the next episode, though. Um, but, yeah, if you guys are new here, you want to see more, stay tuned for sure. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 all that stuff. <laughs> and uh, stay tuned. Next week, we will be putting out another episode. We are going to be doing this weekly as of right now. Maybe I'll get a little fancy with it and do it bi-weekly. Or, or not bi-weekly, like twice a week, whatever, double a week, something like that. <laughs> Thank you guys, though, once again so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you later. Goodbye.